One, two, three. Oh, Singapore! <laughs> No. Yeah, that's what you wanted? <laughs> no. Singapore! Today the Try Guys are going on a Singaporean food adventure. We are going to eat as much food as humanly possible. Seven days and a hundred billion things to eat. Singapore is a dope country. It is beautiful. It is incredibly diverse. So many different predominant languages, so many different inflections of food and recipes, and it's just like the cleanest city ever. Singapore has immigrants from all over Asia who come here, who've made it their home, and they brought with them incredible, delicious, authentic meals. A lot of these masters, they only cook one serving per walk. So all of their attention is going towards one of your servings. The first day we teamed up with a local tour guide to take us around, tell us a little bit about the history and feed us a lot of food. Okay, I'm gonna give you all a sample of this mango steam. Uh, the people from the States are actually promoting it as a anti-cancerous kind of stuff. Mmm, ah, it's very nice. That's very delicious. Nice. Oh, I like looking in your eyes while I wash your hands. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Like looking at your tongue. That's enough. Wash your hands. <laughs> Hawker centers are all over this place, and there are basically giant food courts of different food stalls. You can get Michelin star meals for under $5 here. What? It is basically just sugar and water, and it is the sweetest thing you've ever had, and it is delicious. The Hainanese chicken and rice. This is a must-have in Singapore, one of their most iconic dishes. Full you throttle foam. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. The, the skin gets this nice layer of fattiness, and the rice is so like light, it's kind of buttery. The Hainanese chicken rice is approved by this chicken lord. Every mixed stir-fry dish we have here is amazing. So I had kanji for the first time, which is kind of like grits, but very savory, and it was filled with like surprising pieces of chicken. Maybe once more! Now you slap the water bottle onto the floor. Yeah, look everyone in the eye and throw it on the ground. <laughs> Singapore has got some crazy desserts. They have these squiggly little green worms on top of shaved ice, and there's corn. This is oh yeah, it's got coconut flavor. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I just made eye contact Sweetie, with someone who is very slowly eating noodles. <laughs> My button broke, so I'm gonna be looking very sexy today. Oh yeah, that's a good excuse. And then uh, my other button broke, so I'll be looking very unsexy oh, today. Wow. Hey! Don't you think it's appealing? Oh, oh this shit is bananas. Oh boy. Oh, I like it a bunch. <laughs> we, we made a mistake. We made a terrible mistake. Woo! Can you get a refund? Next, we're going to Little India, which is the center for all of the amazing Indian cuisine in Singapore. Little India is the only place where you can see everybody can sell anything along the roads. So there's all these like floral situations. You can buy like edible flowers, all these herbs. You can just walk by, buy sodas, buy goods. It's a super cool like street market bazaar kind of feeling. Neem leaves, okay? It can be found in India in the wild. They are also considered cure. I'm coming off of a cold. I just chew. It's a bit bitter. Oh my god. No, it's the most bitter thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's like looking a battery. I think I'll keep my cold. Wet market is whereby all the produce are actually being sold, but with a very wet floors. <laughs> That's why it's called wet market. <laughs> it's the heart of the banana plant. Exactly like a grape. But shaped like a thumb. <laughs> There's a ton of respect between the different people, the different cultures, the different religions. They're living amongst each other harmoniously in a way that's really pretty wonderful to see. All the cuisines and cultures mix together and they've created something incredibly unique. This biryani is so flavorful and it's a wet biryani. So normally biryani is like a drier rice and this is just dense with flavor and endlessly delicious. Inject that into my veins. Very good. Um, yeah. Definitely puts Funyuns to shame. It also kind of looks like a crab the way you're holding it. We have these amazing Indian dishes. There's this thing and it kind of looks like a Greek dessert and it was also like with Indian spices. So delicious. Whoa, the flavor on that is so good. I like this one more than curry chicken, one, personally. Maybe that's the secret, you get your inside so hot that you don't realize how humid it is outside. 
I don't know if the world knows this about me, but I'm a little Indian food slut. I can you eat are. this all day, every day for the rest slut. of my life. No, slut. No, slut. It was constant eating, and little Wes was dancing a fool. Chinatown is really amazing here in Singapore. They have awesome dishes and some really beautiful temples. Singapore is the most religiously diverse city in the world. Durian, if you don't know, is the stinkiest fruit in all the land. Durian is seen in a lot of videos we've done for challenges, but it's been imported. People tell us, well, you have to have it fresh. It's so much better. So we're gonna give it another shot here. I'm a little worried about how this is gonna go. How would you describe this smell for people uh, that don't know? It's like, if fruit had a locker room, yeah. After they worked out. Yeah. This is what it would smell like. They like wash themselves room. with garlic. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? Oh, it's garlic. The initial flavor, very abrasive. It's, it's garlic, but the inside is actually pretty delicious. After you're done cooking your linguine, you take your mango and you just rub it on the bottom of the pan. <laughs> soak up all that oil and garlic, <laughs> pop it into your mouth. Durian. <laughs> Durian's great, but you just have to get it in Singapore. <laughs> My breath smells awful though. Yeah, immediately. Do not make out after Durian. That's a bitteriness. Ew, you were. Maggie. My wives, give us a kiss. <laughs> That's a di different video entirely. That good. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> what happened, Maggie? Zach gave me a peck and it smelled so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No kisses for a week. <laughs> Arab Street is a really cool part of the city. Zach, Maggie, and I are gonna try the murtabak there, which is a new favorite dish of ours. It's like a flat pancake, very flaky pastry, almost like you took the top of a croissant, flattened it, and then put diced onion and meat in the middle. Hell yeah. I'm a third wheel. I'm a third wheel in the boat key. Jean's a third wheel. I'm not a throuple. Ugh, you guys can wash your hands together. I'll go for a walk. Yeah. Orchids. Wow. Orchids. <laughs> what time is it, Eugene? It's orchid break time. Orchid break. You like orchids? I like orchids. 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 Pink. Orchids. Black. Yellow. Orange. Flowers. Sniff them. You like them. We got orchids for kids and for adults. Orchids all up in your butt. <laughs> One of the coolest things in Singapore so far has been seeing the intersection of architecture and nature. There are so many plants everywhere you look. <laughs> this has to be the greenest city that I've ever been in. Singapore is like what you wish the future looked like. There's a high rise that just has a fake boat at the top and it has the longest rooftop infinity pool in the world. Which is a crazy view to like look across an infinity pool and just see a skyline. And from the top of Marina Bay Sands, you can also look down to Gardens by the Bay and the super trees in a light show. We kept Wes up a little past his bedtime, but then once the lights came on, he was just like, wow. A lot of it was actual Disney songs, which we can't use in this video. So here's a sound alike Disney type music track that we can use legally. A friend brought us to Newton Circus, which is where they filmed the movie Crazy Rich Asians, you know, that dope hawker scene. She disappears and says, I'll get you guys a couple bites to eat. She comes back with 14 dishes. We had chili crab and pepper crab. Pepper crab is just a revelation. Right. Whoa, it's so peppery. It's so peppery. Peppery. <laughs> it is just so much black pepper that the flavor then becomes spicy. This was so good. And this is just scratching the surface. There's so much more to eat. Oh my god. Keith, we're married now. No, you're not. I married her. Put that ring back on. Ow! Wait, does that mean I'm married to Keith? Yeah. Sister husband. Sister one. Okay, I can get down with that. One of the things we scheduled here is doing a cooking class where we get to learn how to do some regional cuisine authentically. The dish that we're focusing on here is laksa. Laksa is really one of the most official foods you can get here in Singapore. If you've never had it, the best way I could describe it is like ramen meets tom kha, which is the Thai coconut soup. It has this very like thick, rich experience, but it also is kind of ramen noodly, super delicious. It really gave me a better appreciation of everything that goes into it 
It's such a delicious soup that someone we ran into was making it as a cocktail. Wow. Cheers. It tastes, like it tastes just like laksa. <laughs> wow, that's really odd. And soup in a cocktail. Good, yeah. We're gonna learn how to make spring rolls and then we are making quidar for dessert. It was really fun to learn about the process and also just handling different ingredients that you've never handled before. Rolling up these little like green crepes that were filled with like this really dense sugar. We had a great time. Bon appetit everyone! Yay! I also got to meet up with my buddy Mike Chen. He runs the channel Strictly Dumpling. You saw him in our Eating All the Dumplings video. Uh, he's super cool. He just happened to be in Singapore. And we go to this place and get char siu, which is roast pork, and it is bonkers good. That may be some of the best meat I've had in Singapore. We also have so many other dishes, including this prawn dish where the lady is actually scooping the prawns out of the tank, plopping them into boiling water, cooking noodles, taking those prawns out, putting them on the dish, and handing them to you. It is fresh. This is like the chicken noodle soup of shrimp prawn. It is perfect. It's filled to the brim with ingredients. So yeah. this is a fish head. This is like a dry fish head. It is a dry fish yeah. head. How do you even eat that? Just take a bite, it's fine. There's no bone, like the bones is chewable. You take a bite, just it's fine. Orchids for kids, orchids for kids, orchids for adults. We love orchids. Orchids all up in your butt. What are these flowers? Orchids. Yeah. Take some time to smell the flowers. Orchids. Maybe the most confusing dish, carrot cake. It's chopped up radishes with egg and oyster sauce, but it was probably my most favorite thing, and I can't even eat eggs. Whoa, that's good. If anyone is watching and you know where I can get good carrot cake in Los Angeles, please tell me. We did go eat a pig, and it was awesome. <laughs> Vegetarian. <laughs> this is uh, like a pig skin chip, and it is the most incredible bite I have ever had in my life. Seriously, it's like, oh my god. My life here is just so fun. It always seems like there's something to do, somewhere to go, people to meet, new foods to try, a culture to experience. We're getting on a party bus with some strangers. Let's do it. Another country, strangers, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Our trip is coming to an end, but there's still one attraction left. The airport. It is like the best airport in the world. No, literally, it was rated the best airport in the world because it is attached to a giant mall. But not just a mall, a mall that the top floor is a park. It has like these sky nets so we're yeah. climbing around. Wow. Oh, look at Dan, look at all the shots. It also has the largest indoor waterfall in the world. The largest indoor waterfall is in the best airport in the world. I have never been inside an airport like the Singapore airport. There's also a Pokemon Center. I've had a blast here in Singapore. My stomach is as happy as it's ever been. There's really no place on earth like it where you can go and have so many different eating experiences and still go out and party and then also wake up and do it all over again. It's just such a special, beautiful place that I highly recommend everyone visit if they have the chance to. And of course, seeing everything through a baby's eyes was that much more fun. We had a wonderful time in Singapore and can't wait to come back. Some got dots, some got knots. Orchids, we love them, we love them, we love them. Orchids all up in your pool.